called a Deborah Jones. Deborah, Deborah Evans. All right. And all those that are viewing by Facebook, we pray for them as well that God will have his way. All right, let's bow our heads. Precious Jesus, we thank you for your mercy and for your grace. Thank you for all that you have done. God, those that were in the line of devastation that happened in Florida. God, we ask that you will bless them. We ask you to touch them. Oh, God, as they clean up, as they get together, God, we ask you to touch the churches there. They were hit. God, we pray a special blessing on my brother, Sandy Dunlap, and his family. Oh, hit by the hurricane, Lord, in Florida. Oh, God, thank you for sparing them, God, and help them, God, as they pull their lives back together. My family, my brothers, my sisters, and my cousins that are in Florida, we ask that you would bless them and help them, God, and bring them back, help them to put their lives back together. In the name of Jesus, those that are sick get shut in, those that are in the hospital, God, we thank you for one of the being at the hospital with being with us on this morning. And we ask that you will continue to heal her body. Continue to help her, Lord, strengthen her, Lord, uh, out of time. Right now, in the name of Jesus, continue to touch Pastor Carl. In the name of Jesus, continue to touch his body. You're doing a great work, and we thank you for it. Bless us right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ava 
and all break. Now listen, if all broke, if I break can make a TikTok video, she can give a dollar. All right, man. So I want you little ones to go ahead and start participating as well. On this afternoon, there's going to be a very, very important message uh, given by, uh, I want you to move over here, right? yeah. a very, very important message given by uh, Pastor uh, Mark Moore. And I want you guys to be praying. I'm going to actually sit down and listen to this message. I want to hear it. And I want you guys to be praying with me and, and, and for me and for this church. The title of the message, the title of the series is why don't men go to church? So I'm going to watch because I want to find it out too. Uh, why don't men go to church? All right. Uh, if you want to see it, go on YouTube, look for Mark Moore Jr., and you'll see it. Uh, but, uh, I'm very, very interested in this. He's doing a whole series on it. Mark Moore just took over his father's church, and within a week, hundreds of people just started coming. Just kind of. Mark Moore, Jr. And, uh, and uh, he's a young man, but he's doing a great work for the Lord. So I want to know why do men, why do men, uh, why do men don't go to church? All right. All right. Let's bow our heads. You go ahead and stand, and we're going to. Receive this offering. Let us say everyone standing. Oh, they filling out the elbows. All right. The Bible said, "Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart." I want you all to be uh, Mother Jolie's grandson. I'm praying that he can visit us soon. You want to see a young man that is anointed of God and got himself together. I mean, if he ever gave his real testimony, you would be shocked at what he's been through. And just to see how God has blessed him and brought him. He's going to be here, and I'm going to have him come and talk to you because he is a blessed young man. All right? All right. No, you don't have to. All right. Lord, thank you for your mercy, for your grace, and for all that you're doing. We ask you to bless this, this offering for the upbuilding of thy kingdom and the tearing down the stronghold of Satan. Bless those that have to give and those that have not. Oh, God, we want to be a blessing to your house on today. Oh, right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. We you to bring your offering. Uh, 
Uh, the praise team is singing what night? Friday night. Friday night. Yes. And I am preaching Saturday. Saturday. Uh, there's there's going to be three nights of convention, but only two nights of are in person. The first night is virtual. The second night is uh, in person. And the um, Saturday morning, the 2 o'clock service is the last service of the convention. That's the convention that uh, I am preaching in. And I really would like you all support. Uh, also, we will have guests in from out of town as well. So we're going to be busy. We have uh, a portion, a uh, small portion of the Russellville Church of Jesus coming up from Russellville, Kentucky. And Pastor Terrence Salvi uh, will be here uh, on that uh, Sunday. And it was going to be our installation, but things have uh, changed a little bit. But we decided instead of canceling them out, we better come on because we canceled them before and we didn't want to cancel them again. So we told them, come on, and we're going to have us a little family and friends day. And um, uh, we're looking forward to them. We really are looking forward to them being here. They'll be in the convention with us, and then they'll also uh, be preaching to us on that Sunday morning. So we are so grateful, so grateful to God, so grateful to God for what he's doing. Thank God for uh, Minister Lee being up here with us on today. Yes, so grateful for God being here. And for Sister Lee being back with us, she was in the hospital. And uh, but we prayed, and she prayed, and God is blessed to be here on today. Just before I preach, uh, Deacon Butler is going to come, and he's going to sing the solo, and then I'll bring the word. Amen. Falling in love, Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus.
anything. Because you go on. I even remember when women were women and men were men. But now you can't hardly tell a her from a him. Lord, we change. One of the last things that Bishop Dodd said to me uh, before he went to glory, he said, Brother Church ain't like it used to be. I mean, we, uh, Sister Pat spoke last week, we need to get back to what? Basics. Basics. Hallelujah. St. James, 5th chapter, starting the 9th verse. Grudge not, grudge not one another against one another. Brethren, lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. Take my brother, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and see at the end of the Lord that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. But above all things, my brother, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea, and your nay be nay, lest ye fall into, con into condemnation. If any is sick among you, let him call for, uh, sick. is there any sick among you, let him pray. Any merry, let him sing psalms. Any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, learn him with all in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed any sin, they shall be forgiven. Uh, in the beginning of this, that scripture, uh, that text, it talks about words not against one another. Uh, and your brethren, let's be not condemned. Behold, the judge is standing before the door. All right, take my brother the prophet who has spoken in the name of the Lord an example of suffering, affliction, and patience. All right, and it skips down and it says, Let your yea be yea, your nay be yea. Hallelujah. And as I was looking at that scripture, the scripture God gave me, I was thinking about your yea being yea, your nay be nay, and the different things that uh, uh, we've gone through, and, and, and the yesteryears, and the difference in the church, and and, and I begin to talk, think about grudging one another, and revenge against one another, and fighting one another. And uh, the Lord gave me a thought on this morning. Hallelujah. I changed it a couple of times, and I just end up with no more drama. No more drama. How many of you like drama? All right. Camille, he likes drama. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. And I saw some hands over here. All right. His sister, his big sister, like drama too. Uh, oh, do my. I know somebody. And, uh, but we're living in a time where people like to believe a lie uh, before they believe the truth. Uh, we also live in a time where life is beating people down. And people are so beaten down that they can't even get to church. They're so tired, so worn out. That, that's what uh, the devil do. He gets you in a situation where that you are beaten down and you can't get to church. And uh, about the time that I started this church, now this church was birthed 10 years ago, and 10 years ago, but it did not come to fruition because of my obedience to man. And sometimes when you, uh, God calls you to do something, you are accountable to your leaders to be obedient. And you might have to go back and pray and pray and pray and ask God to uh, change his mind so that you can stay in the will of God, so that you can stay in his will because you don't want to be disobedient Hallelujah. But at the end of the day, it is so much better than to obey God than to obey man. Amen. Because man will give you his interpretation. Man will give you his feelings. Man will give you what he thinks. 
And not all the time, man is right. I'm not 100% right all the time. I hear you that there's times that uh, uh, I can be wrong. That's why uh, I don't challenge people that lie. If you lie, I'm not going to challenge you. Because who am I to say that you're lying or you're not lying? That's uh, between you and your God. And so a lot of times, I'll just step back. Now, there used to be a time that I would, God would show me something, and I'd go, go to fight with you. I said, no, that ain't right, because God said this, God said that. And I ended up getting hurt. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. Uh, you, you ever been in a situation with two people and you know uh, what they're doing is not of God and you're trying to tell them you can't do that anymore, you shouldn't be doing that anymore, and they both end up mad at you? Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. Hallelujah. Uh, my wife often showed me this, this clip on, on, on the uh, 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 computer where uh, this old preacher told the young preacher, said, don't you go over there. Don't go over there. His language is very unorthodox, but his message is right. He said, don't go over there. Leave them alone. And so the man uh, uh, told the young guy, I said, well, you know, he's a young guy. He's a young buck. He's still kicking, kicking high. And he went all over there anyway. He's going to solve their problem. But the first thing that happened is that she said, I want you to come over here because me and my boyfriend got a problem. And so the old preacher said the first warning was she didn't say her husband, she said her boyfriend. Oh, ain't gonna help me. And so he said, don't go over there. Well, he went over there anyway, and because he's a young buck, huh? he's a young preacher, he's gonna save the world. And when he got over there to counsel with them and to correct them, they got the fight. All right? Yeah, I ain't gonna help me. <laughs> the boyfriend had a knife and the girlfriend had a skin. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna help me. All right. And so the girlfriend hit the boyfriend in the head with the skillet and the knife cut the preacher. He said, now I told you not to go over there. And so he ended up having to go to the hospital to take care of the preacher because the preacher is the one that came out of the deal master. All right? Turn to your neighbor and say, no more drama. No more drama. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, got, you know, the devil feeds on drama. The devil likes to get in drama. Oh, yeah, you ain't gonna help me. The devil, he wants you to have drama in the home and drama on the job. Oh, I'm gonna help myself. Uh, but the devil, that's what he feeds on. Oh, we're gonna get into it here in a minute. But uh, the devil, he wants the family to have drama. Oh, uh, come on, somebody. See, I was lucky enough to be born uh, 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 in the days where the family did sit down. Hallelujah. I remember sitting down at the table with mama and daddy, hallelujah, and all my aunts and uncles, because I was living with my grandparents at the time. And we all sat down and we ate. Yes. Then when I lived with my mama, we sat down and we ate at the table. But right now, everybody got their own plates in their own part of the house. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody sitting down with nobody. Ain't nobody eating with nobody. Ain't nobody conversating about their day with everybody. And you're wondering why the fight break out. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. You're wondering why the daughter and your other daughter are fighting. They ain't sat down and ate a meal together. They ain't sat down and talked to each other. They ain't sat down and uh, fellowship with each other. And now they're fighting. Hallelujah. Oh, my Lord. So there's drama everywhere. There's drama in our homes. There's drama on our jobs. And there's drama in the church world. Oh, yeah, I ain't going to help me. Uh, me and missionary partner was just talking about it. Huh? We're trying to figure out what's going on. Huh? Hallelujah. One thing about it, I like to figure it out because let me tell you something. Uh, uh, I don't want to be in the midst of it. Uh, I thank God I'm the last to know about drama. I'm, I thank God I'm the last to know about garbage. I thank God I'm the last to know about who doing what. Hallelujah. Keep me out of that mess. I don't want to be in that. I got too much other stuff going on than to worry about who doing what with who. Oh, God ain't going to help me. Hallelujah. 
No trauma. No more trauma. Hallelujah. And then if they want to have some drama, let them have it by themselves. Huh? Hallelujah. I remember when I got hurt that I was, I mean, I've been in the church a long time. And then to start this church, before I even started this church, I had to have some church hurt. But let me tell you, uh, it didn't last long. Huh? Because guess what I did? I said, when I tell you what, huh? see ya. Hallelujah. I'm out of here. I'm going to let you do what you do. Huh? And I'm going to do what God say do. Huh? We got to learn how to let go. Huh? It hurts to let go. It hurts to, to, to leave your loved ones alone. It, it hurts to leave your friends and your buddies alone. But sometimes you got to just back away and say, go and do your thing. Hallelujah. No more drama for me. Hallelujah. Drama is, a, is, a, is exciting, emotional, unexpected series of events or set of circumstances. That's what drama is. Hallelujah. And you don't want to be in that. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what make, makes us. But what make, uh, make us? Hallelujah. In women, females are are normally uh, emotional. They're emotional. They think with their hearts. They, everything they do, they do it from their heart. They're more emotional. They 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 get God's attention because they can cry. Because they go, from, God looks on the heart, and they are heart individuals, yes. and so they 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 they're very emotional. All right, very emotional. Uh, think about emotions. Uh, uh, women, the way that they are captivated by a man is not the, the way that he looks. For years, I was wondering. I was wondering by some of my relatives. I was like, what did she see in him? He's a troll. You know? And, and I'm walking around and I was confused. And I'm like, oh my God. He has got to be the ugliest little thing I've ever seen in my life. And she liked him. But then I had to learn. She wasn't looking at him with her eyes. She was looking at him with her heart. It wasn't what he had on. It wasn't what he had. Was what he was saying. Yeah. And so she listened to what he was saying. Oh, uh, come on, y'all never thought about why did that beautiful uh, uh, Beyonce ended up with Jay Z? Y'all never thought about it? Y'all never thought about what did she see in him? He knew what to say. Yeah. He knew what to say. Hallelujah. You never thought about how Sheila E. ended up with Prince in them high heels? Why did she have that man with high heels on? He knew what to say. He pulled at her heart. Oh, right. Hallelujah. Pulled at her heart strings because women are emotional. Hallelujah. They are more emotional than we are. Hallelujah. More emotional. Let me tell you something about this. And some people are going to probably get mad at me over here, but I'm going to tell you. You can go in there and you can cut your hair bald. Put a baseball cap on. Put you some jeans on and a man shirt and you're still going to be emotional. Oh, y'all yeah, ain't going to have me. You can change your name. Hallelujah. You can change your name from Sheila, hallelujah, to, to Sam. It ain't going to matter. You still going to be emotional. Because they can operate and change your outside. Hallelujah, but they can't change the inside. Because God made you what he makes you. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, you don't have me. Hallelujah. We are very, very emotional. Women are very, very, and they think with their heart. Everything's done with their heart. Men are different, and I'm very interested about what's going to happen this afternoon, because men are very different. We're not emotional, and y'all ain't going to help me. I had to, my wife had to teach me how to be emotional, because I'm not, I'm, I don't have a, not a little bit of emotion in me. Hallelujah. 
I, I wasn't into the flower thing. She had to teach me how to get into the flower thing. I didn't see the purpose of candy. She had to teach me how to do candy. I didn't see the purpose of candles. She had to teach me how to do candles. I didn't, I'm not emotional. Hallelujah. I am analytical. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. Men are analytical. They like to see the way things work. We like to figure things out. We do that kind of we're mechanical, but we're not emotional. We're far from being emotional. Hallelujah. They often say that we do romance and romance bring women flowers and 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 and, and heart and candy and have dinner and 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 the romance and all. But for a man, hallelujah, the, the G-rated version is just show up. Yep. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. Y'all ain't gonna help me. That's all you gotta do for me is just be there. Hallelujah. Just be there at the point of time of service. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So be very critical. Men are not really into drama. That's why when you throw a man in a drama uh, a situation, uh, you're going to have trouble. Hallelujah. Because men don't know how to handle drama. Oh, I'm giving our secrets away now. But men don't know how to handle drama. All right? Men, hey, let me tell y'all something. Huh? Man, uh, in a lot of my years, uh, I saw a friend of mine in the Air Force. He was in the Air Force. Hallelujah. And he had this wonderful woman. She's a nice lady. And and, and and he cheated on her several times. I know because I stayed in the dorms with him. And, and we were in the Air Force together before I got married. He cheated on her, cheated on her, cheated on her. Hallelujah. And she forgave and she forgave him. And one time, she just said, I'm going to get him back. And she cheated on him. Now, the difference between us and them is we'll cheat it on them. With a man will cheat on you and then uh, make sure you find out about it. <laughs> you, know, you know, no, 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 I got that back. A man will cheat on you and hide it from you. Man will cheat on you and make sure, uh, 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 make sure that there's like two or three locks on this phone so you can't get into it. Yeah. You know, man will cheat on you and, 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 and you won't find out about it. He'll try to make sure that he won't find out. But one thing I thought about a woman, when she cheat on she can tell you. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. She will cheat on you come there. Look, I cheated. Hallelujah. And watch your world come. Because men can't take rejection. Oh, y'all yeah, gonna help me. Men cannot be rejected. Women be rejected from the beginning of time. But reject a man and his world will go. Just kill him. And I watched this young man. He cheated on her. And when she cheated and told him, man, we had to give him three days off. He was sitting at his desk. He was sitting at his desk just crying. Oh, he was boo hoo And I'm looking at him like, man, you done cheated on her all this time. And, but we men don't take rejection. That's why when you put a man in drama, he explodes. Because God didn't make him like that. That's why somebody didn't get killed. Because God didn't make us like that. Hallelujah. We can't stand drama. We don't have the capacity to deal with it like that. Hallelujah. I know I can't do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So we, hallelujah, hallelujah, are different in the way that we were made and we should treat each other accordingly. Hallelujah. If you don't want no drama, don't try to be her daddy. Because she's already been raised. I got that from God himself. God stopped me in my track. And so you know what your problem is? You're trying to raise somebody that's already been raised. She already got a daddy. All right. You didn't marry your daughter, you married your wife. No more drama. I'm just trying to get the drama out of the house. That's all. Hallelujah. Because uh, you know what? A, a woman will hurt your feelings. Sure will. hurt your feelings. Hallelujah. Let me, let me give you a sad bar and I'm going to finish this. My wife is a good cook. 
She's a really good cook. She is an excellent cook. Yes, she is. Hallelujah. And what happens is, every now and then, I'll get the spirit of the cook on me. But I already know, Mother Lee, that when I cook, they're not going to eat it. They're not going to eat it because mom didn't cook it. And mom not going to eat it because she didn't cook it. So what do I do? I just stay out of her kitchen. Hallelujah. I don't even go in there because I don't want my feelings hurt. Oh, come on, somebody. Because they're not going to eat it even if it does look good. They don't want it. Hallelujah. So no, I stay out of No drama for me. I had to learn that. Just stay out and let them do it. Hallelujah. When mama ain't going to be home for dinner, everybody want to door dash. They don't, they don't want me to cook. They want to door dash. They rather eat nasty McDonald's than something happen. Hallelujah. But to keep drama there, I just say, go on, do what you got to do. Let me move on and I'm almost done. We are both loyal to a fault. We got to watch out for being loyal to a fault. Don't be loyal to someone that don't deserve it. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. I know he sounds good. And I know he said some good things and some sweet things. But don't be loyal to him if you don't deserve it. Hallelujah. If he hasn't done what it takes to get you, hallelujah. And I mean put a ring on it by your house and a call if you don't want it. Why would you get wrapped up with somebody that can't even buy you a car? <laughs> why, would you, why would you be even involved with somebody that can't buy you a house? <laughs> you got to buy them a house. No, uh -uh. Don't be loyal to a fault. What loyalty to a fault means, uh, you are so loyal that you won't break away. You are uh, uh, loyal to abusive uh, companion. Some women stay there until they get killed. Y'all ever seen Fatal Attraction? They stay there until they just get killed. Hallelujah. Because they're loyal to that man. How about for my man? Hallelujah. These women running around here committing crime for these men? Hallelujah. Because they're loyal to him. Loyal to him. Hallelujah. You don't need to be loyal to nobody like that. Or oh, it's better. Loyal to abusive friends. Hallelujah. Every time you in a circuit, they, the, the circle, they want to talk about you. Hallelujah. You don't need no friend like that. Hallelujah. Uh, loyal to an abusive job. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. God, don't put you in a situation like that and don't bring you out victoriously. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Loyalty to a fault. My favorite one, a loyal to abusive church. Y'all ain't going to help me. Y'all ain't going to help me now. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm staying here until you come. I'm loyal. Everybody that died, but I'm still here. Holding on and I'm praying. That's foolishness. You don't have to be loyal like that. God, the only person you need to be loyal to is Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the only person you need to be loyal to. You got these preachers messing up and going on and doing this and that and the other, and people still holding on. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, come on. When, when that man got robbed and, and started all that stuff, and, and, and we're still loyal to him. Hallelujah. And you got people saying, okay, if you're going to have my, come to my prayer clinic, my prayer clinic, you got you to gotta, you gotta pay me $5,000. Man, I would have been out the door as soon as she said that. <laughs> God don't cause you to pay no five thousand dollars to pray. Hallelujah! But we're so loyal to those 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 ministries like that that we can't see the error. Hallelujah! We can't see it. Oh my goodness! Uh, loyal to them and, and, and they might only third or fourth or fifth or sixth wife and they keep messing up and we, we just stay loyal to it. Loyal uh, 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 to them to a fault. But you don't do that. We don't stay in abusive situations. We get out of abusive situations. 
we pray and we remove ourselves so that we can be free. Amen. Whatever happened to people that stay in an abusive situation, they eventually end up dying. Amen. And that goes for church too. Don't stay in an abusive situation. Hallelujah. Don't do it. Hallelujah. I'm not giving people a, a, a license just to leave church. But if they if it if it's messed up and you know it messed up, don't keep talking about it. Let it go. Let it go. I'm almost done here. These are some things God said to me this morning. He also said, okay, another way of getting rid of your drama is stop living a double life. Stop living a double life. Living a double life means living two lifestyles. I'm saved on Sunday, but on Monday I'm I'm chasing coattails and skirt tails and oh yeah, you ain't gonna help me. Um, <laughs> you can't do that. You can't have a sweetheart and wife. No, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on now. You can't have a sweetheart. You can't have a sugar daddy. Oh, come on now. Uh oh, oh, oh. They don't do that no more. They don't do that no more. Hallelujah. You can't live a double life. Hallelujah. You cannot live a double life. You got to be saved. You got to work on yourself. If there's parts of you that is not saved, you need to work on them. You need to tell God, I got lust and I need you to get it out of me. Oh, come on, somebody. I got some swerfiness. I need you to get it out of me. I got laziness. I need you to get it out of me. You can't have a double life. Let your name be yay and your name be nay. Hallelujah. Have no more drama. No more drama. Satan came to Eve. Eve things with her heart. And he pulled at her heart strings. Hallelujah. Pulled at her heart strings. And Eve made of the apple. And Eve took the apple. And she went to, or fruit, went to uh, Adam. Adam ain't thinking about that fruit. He's thinking about Eve. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I, I'm not the only one that got the revelation. Come on, man. He wasn't thinking about it. Her heart had went to work. Now he's analyzing. Yeah. He, 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 didn't, he just didn't think, oh, that fruit is good to eat. He said, oh, babe said that fruit is good to eat. <laughs> babe said that good. He looking at Eve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord, help us, Jesus. And then they both end up in sin. Because the devil appealed to their nature. All right? No more drama in my house. No more drama in my family. No more drama. Hallelujah. And those that are watching, you don't even have to have baby mama drama. Uh, you ain't got to have that. Hallelujah. You ain't got to have it. Even if you're not married, you ain't got to have it. God will bless you. You stay with him, he'll bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, he gave me four things this morning, and I'm done. He said, this is what people need to do when they want to be delivered from that nature, from that drama, from that habit, from that vice. This is what you need to do. You need to ask God. You got to trust God can do it. Trust that he can do it. You got to believe that he'll do it for you. Hallelujah. And then you got to wait on God to do it. And he will do it. I not only did God give me that, but I can tell you that from experience because I had to be delivered from things and he did it just like that. Sometimes it'll be overnight. Sometimes you got to wait. But wait on the Lord. And the next time you go to explode or the next time you go to, to show out, remember Satan feeds on that drama. Oh yeah, he feeds on that drama. Yeah, he wants to see you fight. He wants to see you knock somebody upside the head. He wants to see that. Yeah, yeah, some of us like to fight. Uh, some people like, they like to fight. But that's not of God. God is not like that. 
God said, you know, uh, he's a peaceable God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And that's what we need to do. We need to make peace with people and, and draw people to, to him. All right. Let us all stand. We can stand. Hallelujah. Those that want prayer, come on.